Imagine a world where humans and machines are no longer separate entities, a realm where the boundary between biology and technology blurs, ushering in an era of unprecedented possibilities, where humans are not just enhanced but transformed, cloaked in the allure of the post-human era. This isn't the stuff of science fiction anymore. We're standing on the precipice of a future where the human body can be augmented, where minds can interface directly with digital worlds, where the line between the organic and the synthetic becomes increasingly indistinct. We're not just talking about prosthetics or implants here, but a future where our very consciousness could be intertwined with artificial intelligence, fundamentally redefining what it means to be human. The dawn of this new era is upon us, sparked by advancements in technology and science that once seemed unimaginable. Fasten your seatbelts as we journey into the realm of the post-human era. In our pockets, we carry devices more powerful than the computers that put humans on the moon. It's a statement that's both astonishing and true. Today, the average smartphone has over 100,000 times the processing power of the computer that guided Apollo 11 to the lunar surface. And it's not just about raw power. The technology we have at our fingertips is interconnected in a way that was unimaginable just a few decades ago. The Internet, a sprawling global network, connects billions of devices, people and ideas in an intricate web of information and communication. The rate at which our technology is evolving is equally as staggering. The law of accelerating returns, a principle that states the speed of technological progress accelerates with each advancement, is in full swing. The technology of the future will not merely be a linear progression from what we have today, but an exponential explosion of innovation and capability. We've seen this play out in real time. Our present-day reality would have been the stuff of science fiction just 20 years ago. Self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, these are no longer lofty concepts but tangible realities. And this rapid technological growth isn't confined to the realm of consumer electronics. It's transforming industries, shaping economies, and redefining what's possible in fields as diverse as medicine, energy, and space exploration. For instance, in the medical field, technology has enabled advancements such as gene editing and telemedicine, pushing the boundaries of what we can diagnose, treat, and cure. In energy, renewable technologies like solar and wind are becoming more efficient and affordable, driving a shift towards a more sustainable future. And in space exploration, private companies are pioneering new technologies that could soon make space travel accessible to the everyday person. The march of progress is relentless and unstoppable, and as we stand on the cusp of this technological revolution, we're left to grapple with the implications of these advancements, the possibilities they unlock, and the challenges they present. As technology continues to evolve at breakneck speeds, one can't help but wonder, what comes next? The fusion of man and machine has the potential to redefine what it means to be human. As we delve deeper into the impact of advanced technology on our lives, it's hard to ignore the profound ways it could improve the human condition. Imagine a world where physical limitations are a thing of the past. Advanced prosthetics and exoskeletons could grant individuals with mobility issues the ability to walk again or even run faster than before. The blind could see, the deaf could hear, all thanks to the miracles of modern technology. Our physical abilities could be pushed to the brink of superhuman, redefining the boundaries of what we once thought was impossible. But it doesn't stop there. Our minds, the ultimate bastions of humanity, could also benefit from this fusion. Neural interfaces could expand our mental capacities, enhancing memory, accelerating learning, and even allowing for direct communication between minds. We could share thoughts as easily as we share photos today, creating a new paradigm of social interaction. The notion of a collective consciousness, once the stuff of science fiction, could become a tangible reality. But as we stand on the precipice of this new era, we must remember that these advancements are not without their pitfalls. The potential for misuse and abuse is real. Who gets access to these enhancements? Will they create a new form of inequality, a divide between the augmented and the non-augmented? And what about our sense of self, our humanity? As we merge with machines, will we lose what makes us uniquely human? These are the questions we must grapple with as we venture further into this brave new world. The technological marvels we are creating have the potential to elevate us to new heights, but they also hold the power to change us in ways we may not be prepared for. The possibilities are limitless, but with great power comes great responsibility.
As we move into this post-human era, we must tread with caution, ensuring that our technological advances serve to enhance, not diminish, our shared humanity. As we stand on the brink of this new era, a myriad of ethical questions arises. The fusion of humans and machines, while promising incredible advancements, also presents a Pandora's box of ethical implications. These issues range from privacy and identity to the potential for inequality, and they are as complex as they are numerous. Let's start with privacy. As we become more integrated with technology, who owns the data that our bodies generate, and who has the right to access it? It's a tricky question. When we use our devices, we leave digital footprints that can reveal intimate details about our lives. Now imagine these devices are part of us. Could the lines between our personal lives and public information become blurred? Then there's the question of identity. As we merge with machines, we may start to redefine what it means to be human. But what happens to our sense of self when parts of us are artificial? Could we lose our humanity in the process? Or might we find a new sense of identity in this post-human era? Finally, and perhaps most crucially, is the issue of inequality. While these technologies promise to enhance our capabilities, there's a significant risk that they could widen the gap between the haves and the have-nots. If only a select few can afford these enhancements, we could see a new form of inequality emerge, where the rich not only have more wealth, but also superior physical and mental abilities. These ethical questions are not easy to answer, and they demand careful consideration. We must engage in thoughtful dialogue about the ethical implications of this technology, involving a diverse range of voices, from ethicists to engineers, and from lawmakers to the general public. As we move forward, we must tread carefully, ensuring that we use this technology for the betterment of all, not just a select few. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, it's clear that the decisions we make now will shape the future of humanity. The post-human era holds promise and peril, a future of exciting possibilities and daunting challenges. Imagine a world where the line between human and machine is blurred, where augmentation isn't merely about improving physical prowess, but about enhancing our very essence. This is a future where we aren't just using technology, we're becoming it. Our minds, our memories, our personalities, all could be uploaded, stored, and accessed in the blink of an eye. Imagine the potential for knowledge and exploration, with the whole of human understanding at our neural fingertips. But it's not all rosy. This brave new world brings with it existential questions. What does it mean to be human when our consciousness can be replicated in silicon? When our bodies can be replaced with steel and wire? When our emotions can be programmed and manipulated? In this post-human era, we may find ourselves grappling with the very concept of identity. Are we still ourselves when our minds exist in a digital sphere, when our physical form is interchangeable, when our emotions can be switched on and off at will? And what about inequality? If human augmentation becomes a reality, who gets to decide who is enhanced and who isn't? Will we see a new class system, with the augmented and the non-augmented? Will augmentation become a privilege of the rich, creating an even wider gap between the haves and the have-nots? The potential benefits of the post-human era are immense, but the pitfalls are just as significant. As we forge ahead, we must do so with caution, with thoughtful deliberation, and with an unwavering commitment to preserving the dignity and rights of all individuals. As we stand on the threshold of the post-human era, we leave you with this question. Are you ready for a future where man and machine become one?